difference If you ever had nothing in summer On my street and I'm love for no visitors If you ever been down over summer Send it back down the road to the prison Call my pride in my 12th of December Oh, they five, they don't fit million Only fucking with life, familiar Came <laughs> from the bottom together We're gonna get drunk together, we're gonna try together All the bitches we lied in forever, we're rockin' forever We're rockin' together Alright Problems, I guess I don't worry You hear me? Welcome back to another episode of the Cloudy. Kick back. And we got Mr. Fly Jones in this motherfucker, man. What's going on, baby? Or should we call you Mr. Street Smart? Uh, yeah. We're going to go with the Fly Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, B? I mean, shit, are you even supposed to be here? Yeah, you're not even from here. You're not even from here. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm a traveling kind of store right now. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I'm okay. Wrong. I love yeah, that. Did wrong. you? Uh, did you uh, put some thought behind that? It seemed like, huh? Yeah, I definitely put a lot of thought behind it. <laughs> okay, because uh, the move was Atlanta for real, for real. You know, right. I, I end up pivoting to Arizona. It's like why be a why be on the I'll be a team player when I can be the star of the team. Yeah, okay. So I like that. You was on your Kyrie the Boston shit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, we're like Nets. Nets. Oh, okay. We're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, yeah, yeah. Kyrie to Nets. Oh, shit. KD to fucking Phoenix. Yeah, I need more shots. Okay, okay. You made that call to get KD out of Phoenix. I need more shots. Right, that is your team now. Oh, Lordy. So was you excited when you heard the news? I mean, I actually would like for Arizona that do uh, provide a lot for the city like that. You you see the difference because mm -hmm. people really like pay for shit down there. So when KD came, everything. What do you mean they really pay y'all for paper shit? Paper shit being that like it costs what it costs. Uh huh. So it ain't. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, like, that's just like a period. Say, but, hey man, so let me get like minute five there. Five. Yeah, no, it costs what it costs. Whatever that price was, whatever that price is, I understand it. I respect the business aspect of it. Let's oh, go. No, there ain't no budget. Huh? So like we got Kate out, KD down here. So nosebleeds went to like three hundred. Wow. So niggas wow. like, Jordan yeah, had a squad. You already had a squad. Yeah, so yeah, imagine that. Team. So imagine the ticket being yeah. 125 for those leagues. Yeah. Then KD come down on a 300. You ain't lie. My dude just asked me to go to the Cavs game try to sell me his tickets. He said it was in the front row of the Loudville. I had to look up where Loudville was. I'm like, oh, that's why you're trying to sell it to me for $30. You know what I'm saying? Because the yeah, bitches, no, I I'm like, okay. So it was a nice jump from one from 30 to 300 to yeah. sit in the nose, please. Yeah. Katie down here. Who we gonna have to that's that's lit, though. I mean, shit. Fuck it. Y'all bought a fuck around with a ring. I mean, I guess I can say that now. Yeah. So, yeah. as were Phoenix, man. You know, you know, tell us about it, man. Man, Phoenix is, is great, bro. Phoenix is the weather. How about that? Let's talk about palm trees and sunny every day. That's man. like... That's life. That's like a dream to wake up to every day and some <laughs> shit is sunny. Like, it ain't yeah. Good. Damn. So, 85 every day? Trees. Yeah. Like, you see some mountains, you see some palm trees. You that's... Know, this is some new shit. It's like you're on a vacation. Like, you know how you're on vacation? You be like, yeah, this shit is nice. Yeah, but then you wake up to that shit every day and be like, let me get this money now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to get this bread. What's up? You got the money as worth. What's up? And you know? It's. Phoenix is just a good spot, bro. It's, it's more like. It's, it's, it's like is, I thought that. Is that the name of the club you at? No. I'm at I'm at a few different clubs down there. Ainsworth is like one of the Ah, spots. so I'm you was there. in front of that sign. I was assuming that was the oh, name of the location. Uh, it's like it's like kind of like Cleveland on the club side, but it's like okay. everybody give you a chance. Ainsworth is like the Ivy down there. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You know, well, that's a, it was a nice black people with Ivy. Like, mm -hmm. oh shit, well, we about to do this deck party for these. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what it's like down there. That's what Ainsworth is to to to, to, to one of the it's like Ivy, bro, or or Barty House. Well, I mean, they, I, I can imagine, I mean, the club scene got to be, you know, at least 25, 30, 40 percent better than Cleveland. It's summer damn near every day. It's summer yeah. every day, but it's like more so of the people. It's like mm. they fuck with the culture. So it's mm -hmm. like we're going to have whites in there. We're going to have Italians. We're going to have Irish. We're going to have Chinese. We're going to have all those different yeah, demos, everything. but they all fuck with the music and the culture. Wow, okay. So that's you fun. got sections that's everything. You got blacks over here, you got one fucking here. But that's fun, though. Yeah. I feel like intermingling, I don't ever yeah, get to like, tap into the other races. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we, we sectioned off. So the fact that you try to say it's like Hispanics <laughs> everywhere, you're like, okay, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a little wild, <laughs> So you come back home and you know what I'm saying you got an event today tonight. What's up at Frozen? What's going on? <laughs> home is like home, so I'm trying to like keep it where we doing the special events. Like when we always come home and show love. That was the whole plan. The plan was to 
leave but bring fun back to the city. Mm -hmm. Shit that we don't really do. Artists that we don't really catch. Okay. Like learn how to get those prices on them. Learn how to talk they talk. Okay. And clearly, you're not learning how to talk they talk. I don't give a fuck who you is. You're what not do you mean to about that? Elaborate. Yeah, elaborate. All right, so talking they talk is for artists to be like, they, fuck it. They think Cleveland a lick. So your average In artist terms be like, of making the most money. To make most money. Okay. So an uh, artist may charge 20 bands to somebody from Cleveland, mm -hmm. but to Arizona, they'll charge you 12. Wow, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that. That's that's uh, crazy. Yeah, so why do they think? But we relevant though. Ain't we relevant? Are we, we not? We are a B rate market. Cleveland is a B rate market. B so that means everybody can't come down here and win. Like you're not gonna. You may be like ESTG. I'm gonna bring them. <laughs> you bring them down here, but and he do mediocre not. as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take a loss. He but going back on your way. Uh, <laughs> I ain't really the biggest ESTG fan. Uh, so who you got to like? Hey, Shit, hey. I, well, I don't know. You gotta. I, I, just, had this conversation. Yeah, I, I didn't I, see different artists do different shit in Arizona that I know wouldn't do shit. I wonder how Bad Bunny would do here. He not going to do what he would do in Arizona because they are Hispanic. Now, really? Yeah, they are. To the I didn't realize it was that. Right. I seen a group like, it was like a group like uh, Grupo Resposado or some shit. Yeah. What well, they, was, man, what, they sold out like two rocket mortgages. Bro. Grupo Resposado was the name of the group. And they just Tanner, traditional. And Tanner Swift was like on the other side of town, on the wow. west side. Wow. And she wow. sold out too. Don't she got like something the football stadium and they sold out Rock and she sold the, she sold out their football stadium. Yeah, that's right. the same day. But Taylor Swift is like a cheat code. Like she's like a but that's what I we know. going on. It's it's like, got black shit going on. Do she even go in clubs and will do walkthroughs? Absolutely. Her name like they bro they I got you like, might say yes. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> he put the no at the end. They gave her two days. They like gave her the keys to the city for two days and gave her like her What does that mean? Taylor Swift day. Keys to the city. You keys to the city. Is shit. Taylor Swift day. So you can just do whatever you like at any restaurant any business. So imagine cars ride past and like Hunk if you love Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Type shit. Yeah. That's wild. Oh, hell no. Well, I don't like Taylor uh, Swift. You did. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Great artist. Right? Yeah. Great yeah. artist, but not my taste. I don't, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so what, do you, what would you tie to yourself? I feel like you're such a CEO, entrepreneur, woo, you know, event manager. Like, you know, it's like, what would you put it in? What would you call it? Right now, I am like the best entrepreneur. Me, bro, I can be. I can be. <laughs> there you go. Like, I'm in a bunch of different lanes, but I'm like still in the same category. Like I'm in entertainment; it's my field. Mm -hmm. But I'm in different levels of entertainment. So I'm in the merch side of that. I'm in the party promotion side of that. I'm in the finesse of that period. Like anything mm -hmm. I got to do with entertainment. Like, uh -huh. Now I position myself to be like, I'm. A, I'm trying to position myself to be that contact guy. Like, bro, we want to do this. We want to bring that person, and I can be like. Let me contact them. Make sure that the deal is good. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they ain't finessing niggas from the city. That's a major position. Oh, that's a good position. Yeah. Like I feel like that's a position that Cleveland really don't got. It's like we might book an artist here, but we don't know if they gonna show. <laughs> they might, they might be overcharging yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. They may be like, bro, I've seen some shit where it's like people really have those connections where you like you call through and be like, look, I'm trying to do this, this price, this, this. They make sure that everything is done, bro. I've, I've got cool. to a point in like where it's like I've got a drop from an artist before I send a deposit to the artist. What do you mean? A so drop, a drop is like uh, I'll be at Medusa such and such such and such, 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 such day. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, so they trust you full fledged. Full fledged. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like all right, cool, you good. You know you gonna send it through. We yeah, gonna be that's there. a brand. That's a prestige that's level. That's a uh, balanced in all of this. Yeah, man, the balance is shit. Making sure that. The money coming in, right? That's the balance, the money part, like, yes, sir. Make but sure you better relationships too, and yeah. the relationships, yeah, the relationships and the money part. It's like that shit is real. Like it's not about what you know. It's about who you really know. You gotta network your network. Yeah, shit. cause you'll find somebody that worked about work. You'll find somebody that you don't think got shit to do with. he will be an A and R at Def Jam, and he mm -hmm. can make sure that. That so artist come. This nigga got a thousand followers. Damn. So you looking Damn. at him like. Who the fuck is him? Right. Yeah, but he he, that, he, guy he that guy for real. Like, he put in for sure. Like, look, you can go this. I got these artists that's on this time schedule. They run it through here. And he <laughs> gonna orchestrate everything for you. And that's like the difference between Cleveland. You're not getting those connects in Cleveland. Well, you know, definitely not. Because I don't even think we got, I mean, shit, that's going to be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <For sure>. <laughs> so, <laughs> I believe uh, that you are the businessman, like, of the year. You got to see you running for that. 
for that award, huh? So it's your succession passion. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get it here in Arizona. For real. Oh, really? You trying to get both states? <laughs> yeah, they got they got a little. They got like the same type of setup in uh, Arizona. So where they do like the businessman or like the trending person of the year. So so far, I got like on the website for the trending person of the year for Arizona. Well, I'm gonna go vote for sure yeah, on the two emails. Yeah. <laughs> That's you know, get you four of them in there. Good. So what's up? Is it? I mean, is it time for ratchet rundown? You hear me? Hey man. Yeah. Hey. Are you Are you ready for ratchet rundown? Man? <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Uh, <laughs> so, Toledo, Columbus, Akron, craziest night you had. Oh. And either of those? Any of those cities. Because you know back in the day, you know what everybody That's insane. So, <laughs> he said, that's insane. Right, that's insane. So we're going to do, I can pick it up because it's going to be Columbus. So Columbus, I will say when I first started promoting and Street Smart and all that, we had some shit going on in Columbus. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. They're like, basically like pack a bag. I packed the bag, went to Columbus, and one of the teammates stayed down there. And they just dropped me off down there like, bro, we're going to do this event. Okay. Uh, and we need you to, like, get busy in this city. <laughs> like. <laughs> you got to get it going. You got to get it going in this city, bro. And they, like, dropped me off for, like, a week. And I stayed down in Columbus for a week, bro. Yeah. And just. Uh, did you do bro, good? God, big, what? That was, like, one of the biggest icebergs that ever, like. <laughs> that's how I, like, solidify, like, this Every, nigga can get, get busy, like. Because yeah. I, like, network. Talk to all the Greeks. I, this is before I was Greek or anything. Like I talked to all the Greeks. I just connected. Like shit, everybody was fucking with me, and I just made sure like they knew who Street Smart was at that time. Yes, okay. They didn't know that, but is it a little when I left, you yeah. a cap and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's like a car. That's like one of them cars you pull out. Like yeah, and I'm also Kappa. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. So tell yeah, us about Kappa. that being a Kappa. Like it is. shout out to Kappas. What's the uh, Kappa car? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you? 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 Yeah, uh, don't y'all do like an arm turn or something like that? Oh, we do a sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you was the one that do the, uh, the arm sign. The okay. Yeah. I was out here, but I never played it. I never tapped in. I wanted to stop the yard. It was supposed it was to be I wanted to stop the yard. Hey, yo, Lito. No, I said he was supposed to be at Yeah, I was supposed to come, bro. I wonder what he would have. No, no, no. I said two miles to Toledo, you guys. <laughs> but he definitely would have been in Q. He wouldn't have been in Alpha. I was, no, was going to say Alpha, but I ain't. I don't know. I don't know. I, feel like, like, you know I don't know nothing about their traits or anything, so I don't know, man. He would have been a, uh, what's the noobs? Uh, I'm a Gemini. Yeah. I'm outside. Yeah, I'm yeah, chilling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got their own little flock. I don't know nothing about nothing of what they talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I watched Stump the Yard and I saw them. They had a little snake shit. Hey, which part did you want to do? Like, yeah, you want to uh, do the stomach part? Or you I probably, do the... I mean, I just wanted to wear the jacket. You know what I'm saying? Be part, have the connections. You, the you know what I'm saying? I guess I, you know, <laughs> I, I thought early. That's I really mean. I want to get a brand. I wanted to get the brand. My old teacher had a brand, so it was just like, well, I don't know. Yeah, like, that's the most insane part. Yeah, that's yeah insane. I got that's tattoos all over my body. That ain't insane. You know what I'm saying? That ain't insane. Put that bitch on my back. Put that bitch on my back shoulder. Like, yeah, that's nice. Or the cap. Put that bitch on the cap. Cap. Be ugly as hell. I don't know, man. That's extreme, man. Yeah, I don't know. You dedicated for that one, but you. The cap. Yeah, nah. Man, so uh, what's the most money you done fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible question, bro. Like, <laughs> you hear me? A lot, though. You a lot? Was yeah, it over 10K? Yeah. Was yeah. it over 30K? It probably like over 70-ish. Ooh. That's, like, that's one of them, like, you taking the losses. But mm -hmm. you learned something from the losses, yeah, yeah. but you're taking them bitches. So what was the biggest lessons? Do you remember one of the lessons or? Oh yeah, I definitely remember the fucking lessons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lose yeah. Give, me, give me one. Give me one. <laughs> Lose ten dollars. You know, like <laughs> don't spend your ten dollars on that. that way. <laughs> I done lost a couple dollars, but seventy of them things. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah, no, well, like, that that problem is that, not yeah. the thing. Like. We I did like a bunch of investing at one time, like mm -hmm. for different events and shit like that. Artists, you can say artists. I've lost off of artists 
in Cleveland, bringing them to Cleveland. Like, I lost off of that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I've understood, like, it's a different way that you got to do it. You got to find out that Cleveland got a niche market where mm-hmm. you, like, they ain't going to take everybody. So you would take somebody hot. Is. Bro, you I give you a perfect example. You would think somebody hot as far as, I'm say, who rapper? Ice Spice. Nah, Ice Spice. But Ice Spice a grip. Ice Spice, like, what like what seventy five k or something? Some shit like that. Wow. And you'll bring her down. Walk through. You'll bring her down here and get your ass <laughs> hit over the head. Well, what type of venue would you take her to to make the money? Man. Where do you gotta take her to? Like, uh, Miami Live or something? Some shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like where her demo fit. Where Arizona, like where it's like a lot of different cultures. Mm-hmm. So you are gonna take an L off of that, but you won't take an L off of Krishan, the baby, the that blue face shit. shit. Like, oh, oh okay. That's yeah. in your budget. But that's how we are, though. Yeah, like, you ain't lying, though. That's why it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I had to think a couple seconds, like, who? Chris yeah, exactly. Okay. What's it? What's it? It's, it's a vibe, bro. She got a song. I don't even know her music. Yeah, I know her as, a, that shit. as a character. Her yeah. character is how she is with Blue Space. It's crazy, man. Would you, could you deal with a woman like that? Absolutely, the fuck, man. <laughs> she be beating him. Yeah, she be beating him, man. She broke a bottle over his head and, and yeah. cut his shit. Hennessy bottle. That bitch thick as that damn. And yeah, she's strong as fuck. Why? Why? I can't. I know. Man. I know she ran track. I seen the track. So it's like, like, oh yeah, she got it. I don't know if I can date an MMA fighter, man. She crazy, man. A bottle of real hair. She's insane, insane because bottles really don't break. So no, they break don't. Over your head, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And the bottom, sure she was the bottom of it. That was the thickest part. <laughs> so, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, what if it was man. a Patron <laughs> bottle? Man, you hit me? Fucking, what's up? Fucking, who got a thicker bottle than that? No, no, no. You can't think of no more. I'm trying to think. Who got a thicker bottle than that? That motherfucker. And that bitch bits too. So you want to hit that bitch with some force to shatter that bitch. Nah, that's some wild shit, man. I can't. You know, I had my couple crazy women in my day. You know what I'm saying? So. We even had a bottle to the head? No, I had a bottle to, you know. Uh, a drink at you, most. No, we a had drink the, splash the, at most. But the windows broken and the okay. and the uh, snicker bar and your gas tank and the you brake. Do that really fuck up your car? I had to hit the gas tank thing. It was like four hundred dollars. Okay, it ain't as bad as the I the line. Saying. Yeah, I didn't think. I thought it was. But if you would have flushed it and would have got your engine. It then like, it would have oh, fucked your shit. She just put it in the in the in the whole thing. So what you said it before you went to outside? the gas station and, and I needed some gas. Went so to stop. Was on your side. Went to put that bitch in there. I'm like, why the bitch won't go? Try to force the motherfucker. And then I'm like, what is this chocolate remnants? And then I'm like, this yeah. crazy ass bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. <clears throat> you caught her. Was like, put a restraining order on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we yeah. caught her. This thing is there. I put a restraining order. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you didn't even call like that. No, yeah. that was that. You know, it, it was a, another straw she did. She punched my back window out to my house. Type what? Like, b- b- punched it. That was yeah, the restraining order. Right there. That was the last straw right there. I'm like, this girl is crazy. <laughs> nah, yeah. It was wild, man. So yeah. petite or uh, petite or uh, petite or thick. You know what I'm saying? Thick is always the better choice. You want my thick? Uh, ask your titties. Yeah. I'm gonna go ask. <laughs> you can get the, the buns. Get the head, or, head or the buns. Now that's that's a hard one. <laughs> the head is trash. The head is fire. Both, both, oh, is, both is fire. Both is fire. <laughs> that's a little toss up. That's a little toss up. Niggas said they got to depend on the move, huh? Yeah. Shit, uh. Who's the smash mission? I just smashed my mission, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, yo. I what? Smash what do you smash I've never seen, seen, I've never looked at, like, nothing that seemed like a cute ass bitch where I was like, oh, bro, she's fine as fuck. I couldn't imagine. imagine. Getting on my knees to smash a midget. Like, she probably standing up, just bending over, and I'm on my knees. Dwarf ish. That's wild. <laughs> All right, never What's the limit? Like, 4'11? 4'11. Yeah, like dwarfish. Yeah. 4'11, I mean, shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's wild. Yeah. I don't never, I mean, I never met a woman like 4'5, so I wouldn't know. How tall is 4'11? But I like short girls, so it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's cute, it is. <laughs> It is cute. You hug them, they write perfect height. Whatever. Harry or ball? 
You want your 1970 shit? Nah, boy. Yeah, what's up, man? You want to do Brazilian? Oh, you got to look, yeah. <laughs> I heard you say 1970. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just saying with the music. Yeah, I got to So, uh, Sid, tell us about your journey from Street Smarts to now. It's been a, it's been a good one. I ain't gonna, I can't feel like this hasn't been a great journey. It's been a long journey, but it's been a great journey. Like, we started off, Start off, we've always been the shit for real, bro. But we started off hot, then we had our cool phases, we had our black ball phases, we had our get it out the mud phases. What phase was the started, bank? The because that's when I met you. The bank, I bought my first. The ticket bank was the uh, from you. The re the reinvention or the re rebranding. The rebranding that was that was literally that the was, rebranding because we had been that's like 2015, 16, so we had just like. Got out of that phase where it's like, all right, they ain't been around for a while. Mm -hmm. What the fuck they got going on? Who's mm -hmm. here? And then we got an opportunity from the bank. Hell of an opportunity. Yeah, opportunity. You had the Rick Ross in that motherfucker. Yeah, we got the opportunity from the bank. Like, Bunchy. Bunchy from uh, Rumor. Like, mm -hmm. he opened that door. Literally opened that door. Like, yeah, you want to do something? That's how I, like, met and, like, got into it with, like, KY and all that. It was from that experience. Really? And we, like, started the rebrand really right there at the bank. That's crazy. I met Everything that. opened up from there. That was a great party, shit. I yeah, enjoyed no, it. The bank was a great, great location. It was a great little, <laughs> that was a, definitely a great, the bank was definitely a great little, what's the name? Well, that was, like, one of our biggest spots where you could, like, bring artists and shit, and it made sense. It was nice, man. I really enjoyed the bank. Yeah. We I need like another spot different. like that. We do. <laughs> but we got to fucking maintain them. It'd be yeah, us. It'd be us. We'd be fucking up the spots. Well, do you think it's a younger crowd? Do you think it needs to be 25 plus? plus? Do you think what? Man, you ain't going to make no money off 25 <laughs> plus. <laughs> really? But I think it's just us, bro. It's like, you just got to be, you just got to be appreciative and tuned down. Like, we don't have to, people don't be out to, we ain't gotta go to the car and start shooting some shit up, bro. Like you gonna fight, fight, and then just go ahead about your business. So what's the vibe in Phoenix? I mean, man, what Phoenix is, you not that's not what you, you're never gonna catch that <laughs> anywhere. You will catch a a fight, but that fight, they probably talked about that fight for two hours <laughs> before they even start fighting. Right? Yeah. So it was like, it's like, like oh, they about to fight. They about to fight. They didn't argue. <laughs> they didn't left. <laughs> Came back and argued again. Like, that shit had yeah. built up tension to be That's like, wild. oh, yeah, I might as well go ahead and fight. We just mad aggressive. Yeah, we. No, we are but we be hot, bro. Right. Niggas down here, we be broke, though. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine the niggas not broke really in Phoenix, huh? Uh, yeah, nah. It, you got your. Nah, it's more so people of, like, working class people. It's like, Phoenix is like Atlanta, but slower. So everybody's from somewhere else. Okay. So okay. people coming in with different, like, careers and shit. They got their jobs. So it's and huge, then. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge, really? It's huge. Like, 1.2 million people in Phoenix. Really? Sheesh. Damn, so okay. You wouldn't think that. Yeah, I mean, you're like, like one year. what? I'm going over the numbers, looking at this shit like, all right, so that's how the demo is split. That's how the size of town. So it's like Atlanta. It's just calmer. It's slower. It's not that fast paced every day. Freeway is crazy, too, out there. Freeway is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> is it? No. All right. Well, shit. So I'm a little fast lane for you, but freeway is crazy. It's so, a $100 ticket if you ain't got no uh, passenger. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, what do you mean? In the, in they the, got a speed lane, but you got a, like a carpool lane, but you got a okay. passenger in And they give the you $500 ticket for that? It's a $500 ticket if you get caught in that lane. I ain't never been out there, man. I'm gonna have to come see, check you out, my guy. That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Stuff. What's the what's the plane flights out there? Like like 450 No, they ain't like 300 Really? Yeah. Frontier is gonna be like the best. Frontier is the one that gets you straight there. Okay. Straight I like there. Frontier. Too. United. Cool, Delta cool, but the Delta would be high as fuck though. I ain't gonna lie. So, Frontier is like the smoothest in and out. In and out type shit. What we vibing tonight is we filters, we is we have filter, uh, I mean daiquiri. I'm gonna get some to eat, but I'm gonna go to frozen, <laughs> what a frozen, and then I'm we sorry. gonna hit a nail. Go to frozen first, kick it vibe on the like grown up vibe, and then mm -hmm. go to a nail and finish it off. That's what the nene and the nene is really the new. Late can, night spot. I don't know. Y'all been here more than me. I don't know, but it's, yeah, cool. I feel it's like cool, though. It's, okay. yeah. it's not that. Because I don't hear too much about... It's I ain't gonna lie. I don't hear too much about Medusa. I don't hear too much no, about... No, Medusa. I had like Goldberg a... Goldberg on set. I don't, hear, I don't know. know. I don't go out no more, man. So I kind of lost yeah. my way. I hear about... You need to invite me out. You left. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Invite me to Arizona. That's why I'm trying to sprinkle a little bit. Yeah, come down. So where do all this passion... Oh, go ahead. You bringing the phone parties back? 
I want to do one of them in the summer, bro. But I feel like, yeah, I just want to elevate it. So anything that we did Before back you. then, I want to do it, but elevate it to it's like we're breaking somebody. Like we, so a niche is like we do a phone party, mm -hmm. got the pool, got the what's name, and we like slide in Bernice Burgos, mm -hmm. and that's the niche to it. Now we got all the grown ups, we got. Everybody coming to this. This is the spot to be. Like, right. fuck everything else going on in Cleveland, Ohio. We don't care. This phone party with Bernie's Burgos is the shit. Like, and that's the niche. Like, you literally have to like. It's a fine tool, bro. Like, you gonna have to give me a bag to wrap my arm up with now. Man, you should be. You should do that. Yeah, I can't. I can't just be out here. Your bitch should be waterproof. You know, my hair sure. waterproof, but not the arm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the whole thing should be waterproof. Like, you gonna have to shit, give me a wrap up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, "Got you." Yeah, we got you. I, I would never thought that them bitches wasn't waterproof though. Yeah, they they did me dirty, man. They gave me the non waterproof job. Is that waterproof? I'm sure it might be. For a million dollars, they got one that you can control with your mind for a million dollars. So you know, but I ain't got that really wild. But uh, do they show you the bitches like? So you, I mean, you know, do your own little research and shit. Oh, you do your own so research. Like, like, do they be like they show you arms like shit? They give you options definitely for your price range. They give you like six, five different hands. I limb. This bitch called the. The Tasca, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's called, the Tasca. Yeah, the other one called the iRobot. So, alright, compared to cars. Oh, this bitch is 145K. So, the car would be like a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Since like, the Tesla of arms. Oh, this hand? Yeah. Oh, this hand. But it's the Bentley. You no, feel me? Like, I would say. This, this, a car, this would have to be like a. Like a. Oh, a Mercedes. I'll give it a Mercedes. Like a little, be like, a sixty <laughs> band, yeah, sixty yeah, bands, a sixty band John. Okay, so that's I'll take a, a like a six series or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good honor. It's a good honor. That's a good honor. But they got Billies. You know what I'm saying? They got Billies and they got clamps. I got a clap downstairs. You picked it up. Yeah, that's that's cool. probably like the little Fiat. You know what I'm saying? Got the Fiat of the hands. Smart car. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hyundai. You know what I'm saying? Hyundai. How you say it? Gotcha. <laughs> so you were speaking about the evolution. So what's describe the evolution from Street Smart's merch from then to now? Street Smart is that merch is definitely like Street Smart merch. Merch is where it's at. So I took it to where Street Smart instead of being just the uh, promotion is the marketing company to Street Smart being the merchandise company. Mm -hmm. So so the fucking the whole goal is to be like you grab these entertainers, these artists in the entertainment field. And you filter so I can take them, put them in our merch, mm -hmm. take them to a spot, make money off of them, mm -hmm. and then take them to another spot, which is like some shit that we own, like a restaurant, a right. lounge, chill, so you got a whole pathway them. for them. You got to come a whole in the city. pathway. You literally got a whole pathway. You filter them through, like, okay. I dress you, feed you, yeah, drop the event, that, event with that, you, concert, drop the after party with you, and then you go about your way. Is that you will be unique, or is that that's that's unique for Cleveland, nigga? For sure, that, like, it's, it's not unique. Pathway that they take in other uh, in other markets. That is the absolute pathway they take, bro. They take that's the goal. Like you want, that's how they build real relationships. Put us at the end. So you got the it's yeah. like the five steps. Then put us at the end because they got to get the podcast. I can't they read the media right now. That that goes with yeah. that. That, that literally <laughs> goes with that. Like bro, you can set those. When I moved, I found out like bro, you can set all that shit up like really as a package. like I can come do a podcast with you, mm -hmm. take you to the restaurant. Get these clothes to you and your people. Take them to a show. That's lit. Take them to you got all these avenues established. And that's how they. That's how they really build with them out there. It ain't like I just pay you. You show up at the club. I gotta get your bottles, mm -hmm. and then that's it. So at Frozen, and that's why we're lit. That's why Cleveland is considered. That's like, sad. I'm just gonna come. <laughs> they do us dirty. I'm gonna hit you with this rider. <laughs> I'm gonna show up at 1.30, 1.45. Uh huh. And, I'm and I've been here all day though. I've been in this bitch since 4 p.m. Why do they do it like that? Cause we lit, you know? <laughs> Cause nobody like enforces those things. Oh, like, don't they feel like I mean shit? But I mean, to enforce those things. Like it's like a little it's baby business. Would, you have no business for real, for real. You ask who would do good here? Little baby would do great, bro. You know what? But he <laughs> would do great because what he costs. Okay. So he has to be like a special. So we refer to a concert party. So we refer to a walkthrough. Yeah, we talking about a walkthrough. Like I just, we just. This is an Arizona play that we just did with the dudes from Charlotte. So, mm -hmm. so the price on this guy is this. Also, oh, everybody had to see this shit. It was on uh, 
when Lil Baby he got on the mic, he was like, I ain't even supposed to be performing. They was like the promoters that ran off and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. The niggas paid, everything was paid, but it's like, it's up to, when you do a hosting uh -huh. and a performance, it's two different things. Okay. So I can come up there and host, he just talk and bounce. Mm -hmm. He doing that because, he doing that because the crowd is there, he see it, so he want to give his fans some extra shit. Yeah. Right? So that's on him. That's on him. That's on him. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. He's like, like, if he wasn't paid, paid he's not. I feel like I'd be inclined to do that though. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Which is most artists do. Like, bro, you got. Most artists gonna be like, bro. You give a song. Even though you didn't pay me for a song, I mean, I'd do I'm a song. Gonna impress, I'm gonna impress. That's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. So, yeah, uh, he, that nigga. Which, what, what, what do y'all think that was? For a walkthrough or for him to do what he just did? Uh, just for, for a little baby. Little baby. In, in, in Arizona? And I'm gonna tell y'all the difference. So, this is the conversation that changed from being a nigga that's from, from Cleveland, but mm -hmm. I'm in a different market. So, I'm. This number about to fucking be astronomical. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I would say if I had to guess, I would say he probably need in in Arizona. That's a nice market with 50, 60 bands. I was about to say. <laughs> no way. No, let's cut. <laughs> well, that's a nice market. I, I mean, damn. What do you think through. he changed for charge for Vegas? Does he do the same thing for Jerry's nightclub? Is that it? Where's the final number? Bro? Yeah, I'm saying eighty five. So, cause everybody that's like gonna look at your podcast and the yeah. niggas who really know gonna be like, yeah, I I shit, bro. All the market people we didn't ever did. You didn't tell me were probably like fifteen. All the shit we didn't always party, so you know. So I don't know, like, like I wouldn't know. When these text message conversation change shit. That's what I mean. So like, what are you saying? Like, like 150? That nigga was like a two and a quarter ball. That's ridiculous. Jeez. He getting money. Hey, that nigga want two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to come and say what's up in fifteen. Yeah. For fifteen, he was a hoe. That's that's have a couple of drinks. Yeah. So Riddle was like, what does the nightclub make? 50, 60 more. Like, what the fuck does the nightclub make? Yeah. We playing with different numbers, so that was a Super Bowl mm. type of thing. Okay. So everybody that's already know they paying. Yeah. So you selling money. tickets for like what five hundred? Nah, you, you got like two hundred. It depends on what your venue holds. Mm -hmm. That's that's all the shit that you're learning on the road. What okay. Your venue hold. Yeah. So like when I say Cleveland is a niche market, I know what they won't spend over. I know what a Cleveland nigga be like, 50? I ain't about to spend 50 for that. 50 for that, you feel me? I know this because I'm from here, so I know what a, like a niche is like, ah, 40 more, ah, I do that. So I know you can sell out at that price point, bro. Like So it's like, that's what I mean when I say niche. Like, you just catching the niche of it like that. But this is for the nigga that's like, Lil Baby at that kick it's like, you about to. Nigga I mean, I'm saying, so what do you want for a concert? Fucking five hundred, I mean, seven hundred fifty k or something, or two million. I don't think we take like three to five. Wow, God, I see that bad buddy. Dude. But your relationship again is everything. So mm -hmm. your, you got my relationship ain't the relationship that the the dude who tours with him is. So he may okay. be getting that price at that fucking one fifty, really? yeah, or whatever it That'd is. Be like crazy, they can take that money up the top. Two shows like that, baby. <laughs> bro, I've seen so the little numbers. I've seen somebody charge somebody 17.5, mm -hmm. but really be charging somebody six. Wow, I've seen okay. it. Like I've had damn, that's months. eleven five over. Like oh, yeah. because you're going through so Cleveland got to go through a lot. Like you go through a lot of that's middle a, people. Yeah, it ain't direct. It ain't like change. you his manager. Mm -hmm. Remember how you had the Kodak play? Yeah, boom, that was lit. <laughs> you feel me? That's your play. Like, that's your play. I still be texting them like, niggas hey, bought, yo. Niggas bought me two, two, three people, two, three booking fees. Yeah. So by the time you done got them at six, it's 17 because you got to right. pay this nigga just two. Just so y'all know, it would have been no flow with me. Right. It would have yeah. been no brand. I just need to be all access. That's all I need. <laughs> on stage. <laughs> yeah, I need all of everything. I need everything. <laughs> yeah, you have my play. I just need to be so in. <laughs> uh, so what's your favorite city to uh, promote a party in? Uh, well, how many have you been in? That's a good. And then tell us the best. All right. Promoting it. Like, that's a lot of cities to work in. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so far as, man. Only one I, I haven't done that I want to do is Houston. They be, they be near Houston. Please, let's do a Houston play. I want to go back out there. I want to do Houston for sure. But they, like, they got, they said, they should set up a little different than how ours is. How even they promoters, they're, they, it's set up different. Everything mm -hmm. is different. Okay. So you have to, like, learn their shit, then wiggle in, but. Uh, so curious. far, the best market been Arizona for real. For really? Me. It's a difference between seeing mm -hmm. a day home with 200 people and seeing another club with 1,200 to 1,500 That's people. high beast. That's regular man. night. That's the, so imagine That's the difference. That's crazy. I don't care. I'm saying this a thousand times. They're going to pay attention when I say, like, what's the difference in the move? The difference in the move is 
three hundred dollars to three thousand dollars. I don't exactly. understand. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the difference. Like you yeah, ain't gotta ask. That's, that's, what that's the question. So you telling me they nightclubs? They producer is that huge. Or they, and, and they blah 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 whatever the name they, of the they, club is. More not even that huge is that they pay what it is. Mm-hmm. So the regular night shit, regular night is like a twenty five hundred dollar section, three thousand dollar section. You not that's not here. You mm-hmm. ain't wow. You ain't gotta pay no three thousand. That's pretty fucking here. cool. Isn't so it? the price is it's price market. It's a whole different market. Honey. And I'm paying forty to get in. Mm-hmm. Ain't no celebrity. Ain't no nothing. It's just coming in. Forty. That's, that's just for a night out. Right? Cool. I'm about to come out the Vegas, man. Check y'all out, man. Y'all doing it's some cool big things. Cool, it's forty, y'all. It ain't never. Oh, niggas will be like, it ain't never forty, y'all. Yeah, I got some nice. Whip. That's different, right? <laughs> what? I mean, forty. Niggas be thinking like forty. I mean, you ain't lying. Niggas be hurt when you say that forty. Niggas be like, no. I got the cheese. Who in there? Who in there? Nobody in there. Niggas be like, I ain't bought no drinks yet. Niggas be like, see, rumor over y'all or one of the other spots. I mean, should we go to floods? They gonna hit the bars. The bars, like we be taking over this bitch. Speaking of floods, I see y'all coming to Anchor, man. Y'all, y'all a little bit of Anchor. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, to detone, you know, detone night like that's uh, just like you know he's plugged in Akron. That's like one of my. I learned from detone because detone the nigga who been on the road the mm-hmm. most out of all this shit that I've ever seen with Boosie and all that. He's mm-hmm. been on the road the most, so I always like was the person to call him, pick his brain. Like, all right, how did that work? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Just calling and picking brains. Like, okay. all right, how did this work? How do you da da da? How did that da da da? And he's by himself, but I see when he come to Akron. He sell that bitch out. Mm-hmm. Then he go back on the road. Like, in the bread be on the road in these other cities because you just got to yeah. lock in. You can tap in with one artist and they be on tour. You just follow their after parties and book their after parties in every city. Real shit. You do the leg work of it as in finding the club, making a deal, but shit, you already got that artist locked. So you got me curious, like, how do you find the energy to keep this up? One of my deterrents. I was, oh, I yeah, feel like I it's dead body. I'll be here. sleepy, B. And then I'll be intoxicated. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your, how do you balance that part? So, because this is, you want to take off your trajectory. Yeah, it's level, bro. Straight I up. Burnt. I was burnt in Cleveland. I was burnt. I was about to just quit, period. I was about to quit and just focus on straight merchandise in Cleveland. Like, street smart merchandise only, da da da. And then it was like, I started going to traveling a little more to other cities outside of Atlanta. And I was like, maybe it ain't me. That's what it came down to. Like, maybe it ain't me. Maybe you can go to these other cities and these niggas really will work together Not and do some shit that makes <laughs> sense. And that, I'm like, because at first, bro, I'm like, bro, I quit, bro. This shit is boring now. Everybody do the same shit. We all doing the same shit. Y'all yeah. doing shit. I'm seeing shit that I done did in 2010, 2012, yeah. and be like, yeah, this is the same shit, bro. Like, again, the difference between saying 250 people at a party and 2,000 people at a party. Like, I'd rather see the 2,000 people at a party do that shit once a month than seeing 200 motherfuckers every week. I mean, yeah. shit. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> 2,000 people at a party. And I, call it a day. I don't even know if I've been at a party with 2,000 people. Right, call it a day. You, like, you, you, wouldn't, know, like, you wouldn't even know. You I call it a concert. That's what you I would call know, it. You would not know. You would not know. In a room with that many people. That's pretty cool that y'all got that access to that. Okay. That's the fun part of it. So the, the energy, the like the revamp was like literally to go to another city and see like you're not the problem. You you're not the problem. Like it's a lot of niggas that in Cleveland that's top dog shit that go to another scary city. Going to another be, scary. That's I mean, that's the that's the scariest part because I was, but it's like it's about being comfortable. Being uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. ain't lie there. You win, we yeah, uncomfortable. Uh-huh. That's the winning point. Like, bro, we win. Niggas survival tactics kick back in. Niggas yeah, now you like, yeah. <laughs> hold up, nigga. I gotta get back This ain't no easy bag. <laughs> All right, who I gotta do? You feel me? Now it's that, now it's that Cleveland finesse and that talk coming yeah. out. Okay. Now you gotta go network here. You gotta go talk to these guys. <laughs> like, now that shit changes. So that, for me, that gave me the energy back to be like, yo, relit your passion, huh? Yeah, we we can do this shit for real, for real. I was like, about that, so that make, that make sense. <laughs> because you had said it twice. Describe that blackout phase, that blackball phase, quote unquote. Blackball phase is like where something happens at a. No, no, I'm saying, how did you go through it? You know oh, how saying? did I get yeah, through how it? Did you get through it, bro. I was <laughs> me. I, I was really just. I was so bored with like like nigga Drake said like when I when I had fun with him done with it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't having fun. I had to be that lit, was cool as, lit as fuck to have fun at some shit or like seeing the same shit and like bro we can't like me I'm a creator so I want to create different 
shit for the demographic of Cleveland. Like we don't have to have the same R and B party. We don't have to have the same like we can do this. Mm -hmm. I seen other people coming from out of town doing this shit. Right. Making a bag off us. Right. So yeah. it's not like we spend obsession, but we do spend. Right. So it's just like you have to find those times. Like trap karaoke. Come down here and make a bag. Right. But you got thousands of karaoke nights that niggas doing every other day. Okay, every other day. Right. We only follow Why not just put them bitches together and just do one at the House of Blues and call mm -hmm. it a day? Like, it'd be little shit like that. R&B mm -hmm. party mm -hmm. selling out at the House of Blues. How the fuck y'all doing an R&B party <laughs> in Cleveland at the House of Blues and it sell out? Y'all niggas not from here. And I see one of these bitches on a Thursday. Do you think they follow a, a Friday? Lord? A Sunday. Saturday, like Sunday. with the same Sunday. promoters and everything. Like, that what do you think that sense. is? You think they follow the lore of, the, of that brand, or do you think they? It's because they just. I think it's just because we just don't work together. Like mm -hmm. we don't find a way to be like, bro. We just don't work together. I don't think it's that hard. I feel like, goddamn, it's, it's really not. Because I go to other shit. cities and I see these niggas really. Work I mean, together. it's just simple as a conversation. I add this, you add that, and then we go from there. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's a top dog mentality here. Like it's a, it's What's a the top beef, dog mentality. Like, it's a top dog mentality. You don't want to be like, like we can talk, talk percent. So if you get twenty percent, I'm getting fifteen. A Cleveland nigga gonna be like, why are you giving him twenty percent instead mean, of me just being like, cool, cool. Well, if you can explain it. Percent, if I'm you can explain it, then I'm cool with that, for real. And then for this one night, for this one day off my 15%, uh -huh. I just make a bag on y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. And then we do this again another time. Whoa. Well, then maybe I get the 20%, and right. you get the 15%. Whoa. Well, you and niggas lying. do that in other cities and be like, okay. if they ain't, especially if they come with the play. Especially if it's all profit. <laughs> they come with the play, like, shit, all right, so it's my turn to catch the lick. Yeah. Cool. cool. And niggas be like, you right. Cause yeah. last time I had the, and that be it be really that simple in other I cities. But that's why they be bad. Yeah, that's like, weird. I don't know. I don't <laughs> so know when why. they say I'm bad. Well, when you get in the position that you need to be in, you gonna have to show everybody how to do it. Yeah, it's, it's working. It's been doing good so far, bro. It's really been. I ain't gonna. It's been doing really good so far, bro. Like so, that. Everything I learned in Cleveland, all mm -hmm. the L's and all that shit, like really, mm -hmm. like got me prepared to be like uncomfortable in another city, but be yeah. Of that nigga. Like, Whoa. <laughs> no matter what city I am. Like, <laughs> for real. Cleveland like a New York for real. Like nigga, if you can make it in Cleveland, you can literally make it anywhere. I, 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 I believe you that. that like hundred percent. I'll give you that. Cause it's, it's promoters that I can drop in any market that's from Cleveland and they eat that market alive just because they from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Niggas fuck with them everywhere. And they already got that like the vibe and personality about themselves. It's just like, are you scared to go there? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, yeah. Are you scared to go there and chill in that market for a minute and be like, are you gonna be uncomfortable at first? Niggas gonna be wishy and out of that at first, but once they see and feel it, they be like, all right, we rock with that. So, I mean, how do you establish a new brand in, in, in a new city? I mean, you're in a new city, establish this brand. Is, Man, the same as, you do, be. same as you do here marketing, advertising, getting on those podcasts, getting on those. Uh, it's like podcasts. Being on the scene, making sure that you're spending the right money in the right places, not just throwing money at the wall. Mm -hmm. So you gotta like strategically spend money in the right places with the right people. Okay. And that's gonna build your brand. Like you're literally spending the money at that particular spot. It's gonna build your brand. Mm -hmm. And it's not just like, all right, I go to all the clubs, I get a section in every spot. That, <laughs> that ain't gonna You know what I'm saying? You just spending a lot of money yeah. mm -hmm. for a nigga to think. You just spend a lot of money, like right. this nigga just be spending money. Like, just it's, all, it's, it's strategic. It's all strategic, bro. I said you, you, you had a poster to the list of losses. A lot of Cleveland clubs. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so how do you not saying like that because that's what we're from. Yeah. So how do you take those less losses and turn them into lessons to what you do now? You just you learn from where you fucking up at. Like you learn that you learn how to make the best deal possible. Mm -hmm. So it's like a Nigga fan dude, nigga. You, <laughs> for real. Like you're you're learning how to make the best deal possible. So mm -hmm. it's not like you're gonna guarantee you win. Right. But you in a position that's like you gonna these teams the pretty the fuck good. Yeah, yeah. And if you you fuck up somewhere, it's an upset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can deal with an upset, like, right. yeah, you fucked up, it's an upset, but you just strategically did a deal so great that it's like I can't really fuck that up. Yeah. <laughs> you I, can't, I, can't, I can't really fuck mm -hmm. that up, bro. Like and once you find out, take a long. It took a long time to find that one fuck out. For real, like, I ain't go hold it. But yeah. now that I found it out, it's like we just incorporate the same algorithm in every spot. Mm -hmm. So speak to that. What's the trajectory of the vision? 
the trajectory of the vision now is, is just using the algorithm in every city. My whole goal was always, my, my first goal was to unite the niggas in Cleveland on the promoter side mm -hmm. and do bigger events here. Mm -hmm. Even if it was four quarters, four events, right. every promoter do one thing at this one time, shut all this shit down, make all the clubs come to us, kick it, right. and that's like, make those bags off of those four quarters. Okay. Now, it's like, cool, y'all ain't see it, so let me start kicking it with niggas that's like, Focus from Cleveland, in Houston, from Cleveland, in okay. Columbus, from right. Cleveland, and I'm in Arizona, so I like get the best deals on whoever we dealing with, and be like, all right, let's take him to Florida. Y'all mm -hmm. in Florida, y'all doing some good shit in Florida. Like just the price, I can get the I can get the drop early. We don't right. even gotta worry about that. I pay for the deposit. We can do that after y'all got the drop, so everybody is coming with this. Cause I took L's right. on that too. Okay. On the artist side, like where mm -hmm. niggas are chalky, like <laughs> you'll get chalked in the really? Yeah, you'll get chalked. After the end, just steal your money. <laughs> That's the, like, <clears throat> it's a finesse, like a scam, bro. Like, he could be saying he's the manager for whoever, uh -huh. and he's and not the manager. Been. He could be the, the nigga's friend. <laughs> <laughs> but he got access to everything, yeah. so you think, like, shit, it's this is the bro. You see your deposit to that nigga, mm -hmm. and you just chalk. And this block you. Right That's right fucked up. <laughs> so you just, once you start that nigga. Through, you feel me? Like, once you start going through the channels and get yeah. shit right, like, you be like, all right, cool, you can do yeah. a deal that makes sense. And I want to do that, like, Per different right. city, like even if it's just four markets that Cleveland niggas locked up, and we just run those cities, like all right, and then I take it from doing the artist to doing the concert or artist to show to concert. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm, the goal is the concerts and the, yeah. that shit. Like that's the real goal is concerts and comedy shows on a massive level. Like not for House of Blues, but Rocket Mortgage. Right. That's the ultimate that's goal. That works. Yeah, that's the ultimate goal. Is you want to do a show at Rocket Mortgage. And that bitch sells out. What is it? I mean, shit. Why well, must do rocket market charge for a fucking concert? It ain't about the rocket. It's about the artists that you're bringing to there. How much they're charging to even entertain the audience. Entertain the oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So you gotta come correct. Rocket work is probably not the most expensive thing on the bill. Really? Yeah. What's, what's the Who's most? Steve, probably not the most expensive. What's the most expensive part then? The artist. Just the artist, huh? Yeah. But once you be on four or five in the motherfuckers, mm -hmm. hell yeah. You yeah, play. agreed. You know, four or five, that. fifty percent deposits. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, ooh wee, that's you know a lot. Saying? And then Cleveland again is a niche market, so you got to know like we love comedy here. Yeah, we love oh, certain rap shows. They just, just did not gonna the hit them. And, uh, that G, that G was a good. Show. So if you went to that, you say like what the demo was. Demo was like older, everything that's mm -hmm. over twenty five and up, all the way to like fifty. Mm -hmm. Agreed. The bitch sold out. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it, that's the concert. That's what you want to line mm -hmm. up like. All right. Yeah, and I went to that Drewski show and it was like, uh, it, 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 it was okay. It was it, okay. Y'all didn't hear or not? Cause I, no, didn't, it, 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 yeah, I didn't really like it. I, mean, I don't know. Are you saying you didn't like the show? How was the, how was the audience? Like how was it? The so audience out? came out. Definitely. But in terms of that's this could have been a record, I that's thought he was gonna stand up. Oh no, that's they did a good job in terms of Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no. That was taken care of. But in terms Fuck of what he do up there. Drewski was I just wanted to I thought <laughs> he was gonna ask you. I've already paid him. I've already paid him. Okay, well that was my only It's about the seat. But no, everybody they did a good job with the people. I was impressed. So, so yeah, when I walked in, I'm like, damn, there's hell of people here. And then niggas was yeah, buying drinks and shit. That's all that All three true. bars were sold out. He can go up there and bomb. That's yeah. not, I ain't know you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> not, that's not on you. That's, that's not on you. As long as that part done. People there to see the field. No, it was saying the field. It was definitely field. And you know what's field when you start walking in and you start getting text messages. Oh, I see you. I'm here. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely ask people, like, how was the Drewski show? Because other people that I think, like, on his level, that can do good shows that like. It's just theater. hard to transfer your yeah. comedy to, to, to into. I seen a couple of people though. Ha Davis was the same. Stuff, he did. Uh, Ha Davis did like kind of like what I seen Drusy doing on the like what he had like acts in between yeah, or some yeah. shit. Uh, he does. He did his uh could have been records. So he has a whole you uh, know. All right, I seen the way he yeah, was yeah. bringing people on the show. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I was as an older guy. I was expecting stand up. So that's how I was doing like skits, and then he did a little stand up. But it's yeah, I like stand up. 
I like Stan. <laughs> I like I like Stan. Oh, 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 niggas grew up watching Bernie Mac and Def Jam. That's some shit that he had to practice you know on. Like so. he started as an IG person. So. Yeah, I know. That's like that's so like John is not, he's DC bringing flying, people yeah, up though. Yeah, DC flying them like bro. They they like perfecting their craft. That's why they own tour with like they Mike Epps like, and shit like that. They perfected it. I mean, they got a whole ass running eighty five soft show, and then they, they then they got their own individual shit by themselves. Yeah. That's probably ideal, huh? I'm just saying, yeah. that's the I- <laughs> literally the <laughs> idea, bro. Because they're doing that shit at the Rocket Mortgage, so I said. Wow. 85? 85 South Show going to the Rocket Mortgage. Wow. Those yeah. are the things that you want to book. You can book as a city in a promoter group. Like, a group. Yeah, because it ain't that fucking many of us for real, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. But you got to put money right together here. to actually yeah, do yeah. this shit. Like, the nigga that's about to make that killing from that 85 South Show mm-hmm. ain't them. They got paid. There you go. So, I'm gonna just edit this part out, but let's get back to it. It was the 85 South Show. Yeah, the 85 South Show was coming to Cleveland, so you saying that we a lick because people just gonna buy shit from out of the city? To- yeah, I'm saying we a lick because we're not putting those things on. Like we. But don't it cost a lot? Or do you got the connection, don't you? It, it is. It don't cost a lot when it's enough of y'all. Like mm-hmm. that's the difference between you paying eight niggas paying ten thousand a piece or one nigga paying eighty thousand. Like if we can, we can break those that's budgets down. down. Yeah, yeah, where it's like you pay three, you pay three, you pay three, mm-hmm. and we all bring this show together because that's what they're doing. Agree. Like them Chicago or whoever, whatever city they're from, mm-hmm. they together in that play. Mm-hmm. Like don't get it. They literally together. They like all right. We want to do an eighty-five South show in three cities. They send you a price out, all the niggas get together, and like, this is the budget. Which you can afford, what I can afford, what you can afford. Maybe I can't afford as much as y'all. Mm-hmm. Cool. Shit, we still gonna put that on. <laughs> like, we still gonna put that <laughs> show on together. Yeah. And we gonna bring the 85 South Show to Cleveland. We gonna hit Cleveland, we gonna sell out in this motherfucker. Yeah. And all of the promoters that's from this city gonna go spend their money there. And not get shit from it. Wow. We're not gonna have that. We're not gonna get them niggas to come kick it with us. Mm-hmm. We're not nothing. There's nothing. We get nothing out of that shit. Just... But we could if we literally like sat down and was like, bro, this is what we're gonna do. We know the city like this or want this. Yeah. They wanna see this person. So we sit down. That's back to what you were saying before, the 15, 20. We sit we sit down as a mm-hmm. as a unit. People wanna see this person. Yeah. What we gonna do? Saturday night, April 1st, we're gonna be like. I usually do, you usually do a Saturday night, you do a Saturday mm-hmm. night. But guess what? We're bringing this person. So that Saturday night, so that they, they can come kick it with us, or we're going to just let it ride by itself. Right. Or bring and your crowd. Come, and we can bring your, that's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to bring that crowd and be like, all right, we just going to all do this one spot Aren't together. You brand sell yourself? out. Because like, the clubs going to respect it either way. Because I, I'm like, bro, I look at this shit like, bro, we make money with these clubs, 56. It's 56 weekends, bro. So, like so I, make, I got 56 times to like hit with you. Right. Most of the times I hit with you. I mean, but so damn, I'm not under I can take one. I can take one or two. <laughs> but I'm not under To be like, yeah, we doing this. And you should be like, respect that and support that. Like, shit. All right, I'm going to get less staff so they can kick it. And uh-huh. everything should be like a flow. Like, the owner should even be like, you're right. Yeah, boy, I'm going to put the section there and everything. Like, mm-hmm. And that's what goes on at these spots. Like, it'd be a club. The club owners from over there mm-hmm. put the section at that spot for that night. Well, that's nice. They they kicking it, bro. Like, yeah, but they support on just on some sub. It's not even like it's pressure, simple. bro. It's no pressure. It's, it's just like, like support. It's just like they, all they, they use they flex instead of trying to like compete against that. Uh-huh. They gonna come to your shit, and that's uh-huh. they flex. They gonna come right. to it and spend a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's they flex. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a better fucking flex to yeah. me. Like, man, listen. Make more sense to Make me. Sense. <laughs> man, listen. Like we gonna have to be there pressure. Right. Right. So why why don't why do you think it's hard? Why do you think it's so hard for Cleveland to get that? I don't. I, I mean, just, I mean he said that. it earlier. What, what, what are we? Uh, we we're Not haters. Now we be, yeah, we we <laughs> hate we hate on each other. We wanna everybody wanna outshine greedy? the other person. Yeah. Like you know, like, niggas is greedy. It don't be like I, a nigga in Cleveland to take a hundred percent of zero instead of taking fifteen percent of a bag. Yeah, yeah. Like I can do my own shit over here mm-hmm. and not make a fucking crumb. 
But I'm gonna Instead of collabing with everybody and make this money because I looked good over there. Mm-hmm. Like I looked like I was doing my own shit and I was bossed up. Right. And then make a fucking crumb. Like that's, wild. that's how niggas really think. Like yeah, yeah. that's a that's a Cleveland state. Like I say this shit to my yeah, niggas all the time. Like when they say a certain thing, I be like, bro, that's a Cleveland state of mind. Like you gotta get out of that mindset. Dude, you be telling yeah, that's people that's all of this type of stuff. No, they ain't dealing with no our fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, like I'm not about to hate on us. No, I'm not I don't hate, but it's I'm just like, them like, yeah. Oh I'm yeah, like, okay, like, yeah. Yeah, we're haters. We don't collab with each other. I ain't like, oh, okay. I make it seem like, nigga, we rock with each other. That's mm-hmm. why I'm like, I try to, like, right now, I got the the babyface race shit going on April twelfth. DJ N1 is on that. I just fucking tapped in with. Shout out to DJ N1. We got like, DJ N1 on the show gonna, tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure that that is always a thing. Like as we bring these people, I'm gonna make sure I reach out to Cleveland promoters, Cleveland DJ, Cleveland hosts. Like, bro, come down here, get your shine on down here, and then when I come back, like I want it to be the same type of like love and relationship. Like, okay, that's how that shit. I think works. that that is it. I don't know yeah. why. It's, I mean, it's shit, really everybody wants something. Hard. It's really not that hard. Like everybody it's wants something. You know, they want to take it. They don't it want to. It be like a lot of pride shit. Going on. You know, and, and that's, that's weird. Real. Yeah, it's like, that's a lot of pride shit going on. I'm the, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that like bro. When it really ain't, it's only you this or that. Once you making that bag, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and then I'm still gonna be an uh, open hand guy. Yeah, I don't know why. Who I will ever change. I've seen niggas down there that don't like each other though. Bro, once we make this bag, everybody go their own ways. Right. Like, I don't, we don't gotta hang out after this. <laughs> we don't gotta do none of that. Real we shit. made this bag, we what? took our bags, do you think? y'all went all y'all own ways. <laughs> yeah. And then we was like, caught each other like shit, so what up with that next day? Uh, yeah, let's get busy. Let's get busy. Everybody cool with that. Good Come back, take it in. Yeah, let's do the game. And you're like, bro, that's it. Like, it ain't no, about who your best friends, who your, like, fuck on that. Like, See, so that's shit like, weird. We come to get this bag. I'm trying to get some, some El Bredrin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a couple of Poppy True Loves. Yeah, 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 I mean, dollars, son, and then I'm out. <laughs> that's exactly how it is, bro. That's what I love about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, is it, is it time for the for the for the E H for a little entertainment rundown, John? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I think I think it is it, John. I'll give you a little sauce lead up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up with your boy John Morant, man? <laughs> <laughs> How you feel, man? Uh, this is a nigga. You know, this a, 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 a Cleveland how you nigga trying to be hood. You know what I'm saying? I feel mean? like that's how he is. Like he just around. I, I give him orange. Around. I don't even give him Cleveland Heights. I give him orange. I give him orange. So it's just about like it's just, like so it's, so about show, it's about your it's about your the niggas that's around you. Maybe I give him his dad's kind of ratchet, ratchet, so I kind of give him his heights. This is about the niggas that's <laughs> around you, bro. What's your team? What's your circle? Yeah, your circle projector was the name. LeBron got a hell of a circle. He ain't never been through shit like that because his circle was always about his circle is there. Money, positivity. Oh, and that's that's good good man, damn like, shit! I'm like, like, damn, my nigga, you the boss. Nah, John Moran probably got a couple hood <laughs> niggas in his circle. Yeah, a couple. He gonna be a blood next in a minute. Yeah. Like, he got right. one of them type of circles. Like, bro, just like, he's just going for anything because... He, what is he, put 24 or something? I don't know, but he just lost 36 mil. Ooh, hey, hey, he ain't even... He ain't even... Nigga, you about to wait, lose way more than that. Yeah, that shit crazy. crazy. That's 36 million this oh, year. Oh, John Moran. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's this year. That's, that's, yeah. Them contracts was probably for years. Mm-hmm. Job Gatorade yeah. and all that shit probably was for years. Night, wherever the fuck he lose, and that shit. He's 23, years. so yeah, he, uh, yeah. That's insane. He didn't even have his time. That's like, wild. Ball, to yeah. be losing 50, I mean 40 million? Yeah, yeah. he probably. I got to go church bag on him. Yeah. Man, that's wild. Yeah, Kyrie fucked up, man. This Hell no. crazy. That's the, that's the new thing. But he, now, up, I don't feel like Kyrie went back. crazy. I feel like Kyrie no, is like, went crazy. oh yeah, Ja went I mean, on some drunk I shit. I think Kyrie just shit. using the wrong platform to say what he want. He got a choice. I'm saying, you got it. I'm saying, when you make collecting money from an entity that's that powerful, you either can do this and take an L, or you can wait until you retire <laughs> and then have to just stay. But it's like you feel entitled yeah. to do that shit now. Yeah, but then you're gonna lose money, or you're gonna get canceled. You see what they do? And that's what you respect about them. Yeah, I respect, respect it. That. It's just yeah. like 
I don't know if I don't know, man. I guess he got enough. Yeah, I respect, I let you know I respect money. everything that he doing. Yeah. Cause he's standing on what he say. If he ain't on that fine. shit, if he, I mean, I don't, I don't dislike. Not, I don't like that dislike. Like the money don't matter. That's that's, agreed. That's exactly but that's how much money he got to be having. But I just want to know that feeling. You hear me? That money don't matter. We're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna just fuck off this fucking fifty million and just be like, all right, I'm cool. Contract. Yeah, like that's wild. That's crazy. I love it. So. What's up, man? Avril Lavigne and, and Tyga, like, you know, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that. These niggas ain't, but he just bought her a bust down on chain. What? <laughs> I'm trying to see how Tyga's still making bread. Bruh, he don't drop no music. <laughs> he don't drop no music. But no, I ain't seen, I ain't seen the chain. You ain't seen that yet? Uh, uh, you saw it, you're young and bae, huh? <laughs> What's up, man? Why was her eyes yellow like that? She was in that chair, her eyes was all yellow. Did you see it? Yeah, they were trying to confirm if she was sick or not. I, what? I wonder what's going on. She's sick. I ain't seen that. <laughs> Maybe she just lost weight. That's do y'all be on the internet? Do y'all? Do y'all? I see y'all be on Instagram. I don't, 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 don't got black Twitter or none of that. I Damn, you ain't got black Twitter. You ain't either. I don't find it. I'm see just not getting. Yeah, I'm just not getting a little bit of feeds on the shit. But I ain't got black Twitter or none of that. <laughs> well, I know you heard about Bobby Caldwell. At least, damn. Who's that? What you won't do? I uh, do for love. No way. What? Are you heard that song? <laughs> what? I heard the song. Hey, what? Yo, he died. He passed away. Nah. Do, do y'all do y'all not be a? What do y'all do? Dude from the wire just passed away too. No, for real. Yeah, the the boy guy. Yeah. He was in uh John Wick. Yeah. Shit. Oh, he is the concierge John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, how'd you see that? But you didn't see Bobby Caldwell pass away. Where does oh, home? It's IG, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, I mean, I'm uh, sure that was on CNN, you know. I look at that shit for knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, so yeah, I did change my time new shit, like, My uh, timeline on Instagram, I took, I don't have any lust in my timeline. Now I don't follow a lot of ladies and all that stuff. I follow like animals. Animals? And, <laughs> and happiness. And fucking like comedy. I follow a lot of niggas that will be doing like Bro, teaching I'm, shit. Like, oh, I teach such and such. Or I'm just to get the little you nuggets and then I go research like animals. animals. Uh, Why you don't like the animals? You don't like animal I don't, like, yeah, I don't even like pets like that. I don't like pets, person. but I do like animals. Yeah, I'm not like that. elephants and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like elephants. <laughs> Hey, I on? seen one thing about the elephant, bro. <laughs> the elephant was working at the zoo, and they had rolled the motherfucker so much that the back is like broken. You know, <laughs> this thing is yeah. a bad thing. That's the only thing I ever seen that shit. No, I follow some happy elephants in, in Africa. Man, and shit. No, you just be feeding them bitches and shit. No, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wild. That's wild. Y'all are those haters. No. So, <laughs> so, so you agree with Fifty? It's cool to look at beautiful women. But you just don't have them, you know, come talk to you because they be on some crazy shit from ten times out of ten. You what do you mean? Up. What was his? I don't know. What was his? What he say? That's that's what he said. Fifty Cent is a fucking millionaire to the tenth degree. That nigga. <laughs> he said he don't have. That nigga has women like talking to him all the time. No, he says he he likes to look at them, but he would prefer if they don't come up and talk to him. That's a Fifty Cent problem, is what I'm that's saying. A, yeah, that's a definitely Fifty Cent problem. Yeah, like if you do, we think they sack chasing. No, it was just like, no, I was just, I think you're crazy. That nigga's in a relationship with Cuban, no, Cuban, Cuban Link, ain't he? Man, no, I want to talk to see what the fuck they're about. So, like, I'm a networker, so, yeah, yeah. I'm like, the conversation, I, he, he been in the game long enough to know every day. Every day. He been in the game long if enough to know if somebody ain't open about that word nothing for him. Like, bro, yeah, yeah. you just trying to get some dollars, and that conversation's done. Like, yeah. Right. He's been there long enough. But you see, he yeah, kicked out his account at that crib, 50 Cent dudes. He kicked his account out. He stole four million dollars. He said he bought this big. It wasn't a four. It was more than twenty-five. Yeah, it was like twenty-five. Oh, it was like six million dollars. It was like six point five. It was a lot of money. And then he he said he bought that big. Six point five is a fucking. He being petty, but it's that much. Now he's not being petty. He stole six million dollars. I'm like, get out of my house. That's my house. I'm seizing all that shit. And I'm worth. And that nigga worth a hundred plus, bro. That nigga. That nigga stole money from me. Yeah. He was stole enough money. money that could change people's yeah. love. You know what I'm saying? I said like that. If somebody stole a thousand from you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that. Just somebody like, stole seven hundred k from you. You're not gonna be tricked. Depending on what I'm worth. Nah, it, I don't know. Depending on what I'm worth. It's depending uh, on what, so what I'm worth. So you're gonna let it go. Handle it. So you, what are you gonna do? You just let it happen? You gonna find out about it? See who did it? And know they living happily off your six million. You just gonna let it happen? And see, like, am I gonna go to the laws and all that? I probably would. I probably, would, I probably would let it go, bro. I probably would like let them well, that's know. Well, that's really admirable. I know, yeah. But I, I would let them know I that I know. Knowing that you're from Cleveland and saying that, 
Get, and he, and he you have to change your way of thinking. You have to change your way of thinking. Because that's the bullshit. You have to change your way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't happening this way. No, no, I need like, my bread. You <laughs> 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 That nigga got yeah, yeah. chapter 20. He had to file chapters bankruptcy. He went and took that man's house, bro. Like, the fact that you know his house is cars. Like, come on. I'm that same nigga was probably working 85 to 100 hours a week. But it's just like, it's the basic. He still so that same nigga that you that stole that six million yeah. probably made you fifty million. So that don't mean you steal it. I'm about to sit yeah. you down. We gonna have a conversation. Think about it. I got it. I'm looking at all of them. I'm looking at all of them scenarios. You gonna have to pay I'm looking at that necessary scenario. I'm looking at. I'm gonna call you a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I'm looking at that scenario. We gonna sit down. I'm like, look, you know you was a bitch ass nigga, right? This right. You paying me back in like a six year man. I don't do that. A million dollars a year. Cool. And I'm gonna employ your punk ass. And then I'm gonna fire you at the end. Yeah, but you just keep doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You keep doing that shit. 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 You keep doing at like 30% of what you're worth till we nah. get our money back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in services. Money, That'd be cool. He got, cool. got the money back. You know nah, what I'm saying? He's gonna put epoxy on the floors. <laughs> of his house, of yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not of dude house. That's fucked up. So, Ice Spice or Sierra? Sierra, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they say it's Sierra for everybody now because she out here posting these, uh, that, that, posting these flicks and stuff. Uh, yeah, everybody. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. I wouldn't be no, uh, happy with that. If my Why? lady just... No. She literally went out in a thong and a nipple pasties. You'll be sorry. Where's, where's she at? At the Grammys. Like, this is this what we doing? At that's, the her, that's her gig is to be like... Seductive and to be... Uh, yeah, I understand that. That's fine. That's not, that's but that it's just like you exposing it. all my goodies. I would take... That like, like, these are artists that. But that's her And these don't have some stuff to myself. Put her in a turban. What's the thing that you wrap up? Like you wrap your whole. No, you gotta be in a turban. But Joe, she was she was in a thong. I thought the thing was wrong. I mean, she was in a a thong that went up. It was a what's the thong? It was like some mesh shit. The string, the string shit. The whole cheeks was out. The whole cheeks. I thought the feel was wrong. That's wild. Yeah. I can't do that. You I could have went on red carpet. Yeah. I never could have went on red carpet. So what about uh, only fans? Felt, was you, with your lady That's too pants. fucking big. I'm just asking. Would you be okay if she had the whole app? This nigga went from, we're on a Grammy walking stage of so only fans. What's up? Only fans. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm like saying? Would you date a stripper? Yeah. So what's the difference? I wouldn't, you're not I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see it going. And I wouldn't know exactly where we're going. We just having fun. But <laughs> in terms of uh, OnlyFans, I'm saying, would, would you would you be okay with her busting it open all on the on the? You kind of a content on the, on the, creator. <laughs> well, you ain't not. As long as she making it. You kind of a content creator. Well, yeah, will you be in the videos? You <laughs> <laughs> kind of a content creator. That's all I'm saying. Kind of a content creator. <laughs> Are we masking up? You hear me? All right, we're masking up, baby. I don't think, <laughs> think on it. <laughs> so, uh, all right, back on a serious note. Do we need on them? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> on the sports, obviously. Yeah. What the fuck that? Ah, bro. Who's we? We talking about the Browns. He's from Phoenix. Yeah, I don't watch sports for real. Uh, I, bet on, I bet on sports more than I watch sports. Does Phoenix have a football team? Cardinals. The Cardinals. They weren't good, I heard, but again... Y'all got Super Bowl was down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> know that much about it. Yeah. Super, Super Bowl was back. It looked beautiful down there. Yeah, well, that's I saw crazy. the. How was that? Drake, Drake, Drake was down there. I yeah. Was, how was that weekend? Was, it was. It was. It was nuts. Yeah, it was like. It was nuts. Can you compare it to anything shit. in Cleveland? No. Like all right, <laughs> we we just had the what well, we had all star. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not. We still was even though we had all star, shit was still like separate centered to that one area of shit mm -hmm. so it's like Arizona would be like that shit going on there downtown mm -hmm. but then in Cleveland Heights drinking them there wow but then in Bedford the Migos in there with fucking pit bull yeah, that's crazy and then over there it's such a, such a <laughs> Taylor Swift and them having a private mess party with so he's like <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just go to the stick with the black shit that I know because wow. I don't really got no connects on that that's pretty fun shit. That's, that's what the fuck was going on. But it's like that all the time, though. Even if it's not the Super Bowl, 
Again, I just said that that group of Reposado shit, whatever the fuck that name was, it was a Hispanic or a Mexican group. Mm -hmm. They sold out the Rocky Mortgage here. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of town, hey, or, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is selling out the Brown Stadium, the energy, the first energy stadium. Same time, same, time. same day. That's Still crazy. with other shit going on in this. That's a lot of bodies. Like, that's a lot of shit going on. Like, yeah. bro, that's a lot of Whoa. motion. That's like that with sauce. I don't yeah, think we ever had a day like that. You feel me? <laughs> think about it like, think about like the biggest yeah, day where it's like, I don't think we on. ever had a day like, you like that. Patty's day be lit. Nah. No, it wasn't. I was out yesterday. It was you major. You be like, say that is that be lit. No, it was major. Well, maybe because it was snowing, but like, <laughs> yeah. but when we talk about like concerts and this and all going on at one time, bro, like that's, that's crazy. a lot of emotion. Niggas making nigga want to move and shit. That's a lot of emotion. <laughs> He's gonna go right. So, uh, what's the overall mission for is the Arizona man? Uh, overall mission was just to network and connect people that I can connect them back to home, so we can I can be like again the. I want to be the middle man. I just want to be the, the person that makes sure our shit is right mm -hmm. in Cleveland. Like, it's the way that you do this shit. It's the way that they conduct business, stand on business in the industry. Like, even though you think the industry big as fuck, mm -hmm. it's really a community. Okay. Once you in a community, you good. You is this like some it. giant group text message that we refer to? Not, not a, it's more a community as in like, I can call one person and get directly to the next person. Mm -hmm. It ain't no spot. Right, ain't no spot. Yeah, it ain't no like, That's all right, cute. I call such and such, and then I ain't get back, or they got back, or the deal was fucked up. Like, it ain't, mm -hmm. it's like, I call. It's all great. Sure, yeah, very, all right, very. What's up? Uh, I got such and such artists. I'm, that's and I call you and be like, mm -hmm. shit, is this dude very cool or da da? Right. Yeah, he uh, da da da. He worked mm -hmm. with such and such and this and then mm -hmm. it be that like that's and it's done. The deal is yeah. done. <laughs> your contract is there. You're signing it. And you're sending it back. Doc, you sign. Now we waiting on the date. Yeah, everything <laughs> like bro. The conversation changed and like the text message changed. Like talking from imagine talking or right, conversation like bro, we gonna do whatever. So we gonna do a nail. Next Saturday or Saturday in two weeks. All right, yeah, cool. This is the thing for it. This is the da da da. To wake up to a text message like, I got uh, the after party for such and such for ten thousand. Uh, but best offer, shit. All right, I got seventy five hundred that we can do it at. Okay. Or this motherfucker costs thirty, but shit, they gonna be passing up city, so you can do them for two cities. At twenty or some shit like that, wow. like that's the difference of the text message. Yeah. Be like, I be waking up to text messages like that and be like, "This yeah. is so cool." Nigga, nigga like, I be like, like, "This shit cool as fuck." <laughs> like, even if I get the deal done or not done, uh -huh. it's that the language and the conversation has changed. Yeah, everything's so pure. Yeah, like, all right, cool. That's a great text message to wake up to, like. Shit, and it's sunny, and I get to go outside and it's sunny in the park. Like, I'm lit. Damn, you ain't lying, man. Every time I go out of town, it's hot, I lose weight. So I need to take my ass out of town. <laughs> hey, boo -boo they said that shit gonna be a, 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 a scorcher, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for that part of it. Like, it ain't been too hot. What was it, like 78, 85? Man, it's like 90 degrees. That nigga, that's hot. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like, what are you talking about? Not compared to when they talk about you getting to 112 and 120. No, bro. Well, it's about to be yeah. summer. It's gonna be your first summer down here. My first summer. Yeah, yeah you would be sweating. I'm signing training. This is not gonna pass. I'm signing training. It's not gonna pass right here in Arizona. <laughs> I'm bringing out hoochie daddies. You got to put the, uh, not the hoochie daddies, <laughs> like the gorilla guy, like the big gorilla guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he be worried about hoochie man. daddies. Come on, they work. Uh huh. <laughs> he gonna bring out the magic Johnson. Hoochie daddies, oh fuck nah, this. man. Man, chest <laughs> open, hoochie daddies. Oh, you, you say you come from the 1980s when it's beach with the with the puzzle shirts. Just out here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what's what? The method? Well, go ahead. What's the method to the madness? At the end, that's at the end of the day. But you know what I'm saying? What's the method to the madness? Consistency. Thing? Being consistent. Everything is about being consistent, bro. You want to? It's a marathon, but you just gotta keep running. Yeah. All you gotta do is keep running. Then you gonna hit the. You might not be first in the motherfucker, or you know whatever place, but you once you keep running. You're gonna finish that race. All you wanna do is finish the race. Everybody don't run the marathon to be first. You just wanna finish. So that's literally consistency. That's all I think about is being consistent. Everything matching up. And then once you be consistent and you elevate that consistency, mm -hmm. now you top dog and shit. Like so that's always been the focus, always been the goal, is consistency. Like even when shit looking bad, just be consistent, bro. Like <laughs> be consistent. <laughs> at, at least. Be consistent. Don't disappear and come back. 
Just be consistent, bro. Just try to figure that shit out and be consistent. So, so what's next for Fly Jones, man? Uh, next step, again, is I'm trying to unite. I'm trying to unite. I'm, I'm talking about coming up. What's on the main?